Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering two ways of generating power infinitely. There is infinite water generators or water reactors, they've been around forever. As well as a method I only just learned about blocking off water flow, because apparently water keeps flowing even if it's not flowing. Let's dive right in. So in order to complete this, you're going to need everything that you see in front of you, except for the minecarts. I just kind of have those there from a previous tutorial. But you're going to need pumps, you're going to need screws, and you're going to need blocks. Uh, these are all made out of wood, you can use whatever material you like. First, we're going to start off by digging a hole. Now we're doing this above ground, however, you can also do this below ground. I'm doing this above ground just for my own ease of creating the video. If you're going to do this below ground, simply build the exact same design, except obviously channel it all out instead of constructing walls at the edge. Now the lip in the center, that is where you are going to put your pump. You're going to put a screw pump there, it's going to take a block, it's going to take a pipe section, and it's going to take a gigantic corkscrew. Then you're going to attach your water wheels to the side, one on each side, maybe two on each side. This one is big enough and designed for two. And once it's fully functional, we'll generate 400 power per water generator. Once they've completed construction, or while they're constructing it, you're going to open up the zone tool and you're going to make a pit pond. You're going to set the edge of this as a pit pond and just make sure you have plenty of buckets and a water zone nearby so that they don't try and fill it from the pond that you're currently filling because they just go to whatever the closest water source is otherwise. Dwarves will grab buckets, fill up the buckets, and dump them into the pond. You're going to need to build a wall around the front, just like so, so that the water doesn't spill out. And as the dwarves fill the space, eventually you will have enough water down at the bottom that you can begin pumping. Once the bottom is covered with about two of seven water for filled tiles, you can tell one dwarf to go begin pumping. And this will cause the entire machine to spring to life and begin powering the whole device. If you click on the screw pump and look at the information, it'll give you an example of how consistent the power is. Just allow your dwarves to keep dumping buckets of water into the container at the bottom until it is a steady 400. And then you have an infinite power generator. Congrats, you've unlocked infinite power. Now this next method is a little bit strange. It requires digging a long trench. What you're going to do is you're going to dig a very long trench with no real drainage. It doesn't need drainage. This is the strange part. You're now going to build yourself a, a gear connection point for your water wheel and your water wheel. You're also going to remove as many of the ramps at the bottom of the trench as possible. After that, you're going to install a drawbridge on either side of the water wheel. This is going to block off water flow. Simply connect them both to a lever and have them ready to be pulled. Once they're both connected, give that lever a pull. Then channel out the water on the, on the side to allow the water to come in. Then drop the drawbridges until your wheel begins spinning, and then pull the lever again, watch the drawbridges raise, and mysteriously, it'll keep spinning. You can now drain the water on either side, and it'll just spin infinitely. You don't need to worry about uh, maintaining power, maintaining flow, and you also don't need to worry about water changing levels, and it doesn't have the same frame rate issues as the infinite power generator. Both of these setups are a little bit cheesy in my opinion, and not something I personally will use. However, it is a feat of dwarven engineering and defying physics itself. So, if you wish to use these, enjoy! I hope that you found this video useful, and if you would like to see other videos like it, please check out this YouTube channel where I have many videos like this in the short tutorial series. Of course, you can also check out my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash blindirl for other dwarfy goodness. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.